Hey, God bless. So it's still raining. A little bit chilly out. At least he's partly dry. But birds, they're getting chilly. I know the other night they said it's supposed to go down to the low 60s, but man, it went went lower than that. It was in the 50s. It was chilly. So yeah, cars are so much better because they keep you dry. I'm still dry as a bone. I'm actually a bit chilly, and being that I'm in a car, I get to have more than the clothes I'm wearing or one set of clothes. Because I've known people that what they have is is what's on their back. That's it. So, but and being that I'm in a car, I have more than one set, one change of clothes, and they're nice and dry. So I'm gonna go put on some nice dry, clean clothes because that's a luxury you get when you're in a vehicle. You want a bad mouth homelessness and vehicles and everything, but and if people want to be on the streets and really need the like all nature. So be it, but you know what? There are people who are on the streets who had a car that broke down and couldn't get it fixed. Instead of all this craziness of all like, oh, we have to get the land and buildings and all this stuff and all this administration crap. You just really need to cut all the crap out and just get realistic. You know, and like the other day, because people were throwing their stuff out because it was Friday, and and by 6 o'clock, they're starting, and the cops will wake them up. They'll give them tickets. Um, not every day, but those tickets do add up, and then they do get thrown in jail over them. Um, but the point is, is, you know, they have this ridiculous storage of like three or four days a week for like one hour or so in the afternoon. You know, if you want people up and out of an area by six o'clock, well, then you need to have storage that is open at six o'clock and it needs to be open again in the evening so they can get their stuff. So they have some protection from the elements. There is no reason why you couldn't do storage in a manner where a person could have a key or a combination and they could have the right and the freedom to go access it, access their stuff when they need it. I'm so sick of this current mentality where you have to ask permission for everything. May I use the bathroom? May I leave your store? I was at Walmart yesterday. Oh my gosh. I hope I never return to a Walmart again. They get even creepier by the second, and they're just psychotic. I mean, seriously, what does it prove to have some chick, you know, swiping your receipt before you leave, and you can't do it unless they do it? Oh my gosh, the one last night was so psycho. She was like flipping out because it was raining, and it's just like, chick, it's a little water. Like, come on. Oh my gosh, D don't ever move. <laughs> If you can't handle L.A. weather, wow, you're pathetic. But, anywho, so, yeah, so much to do. So much easy, simple things that could be done to make the world a better place for your fellow citizens. It doesn't take 20, what are they saying, 20 million, 20 trillion, 20 billion, I think it is, to solve homelessness. Now, just undo all the ludicrous laws that keep people down. Stop fining people for existing. Stop all the overprice. I mean, seriously, it's ridiculous. Alrighty. Hope you have a great day. Coming to you from rainy California.